What's up guys, it's Jared from Hooks, Rubs and Spices and today we're gonna unbox this Uni Karu 12 pizza oven. Let's do this. All right guys, so welcome back. It's been a minute, happy to be back. And I'm very, very happy to unbox this Uni Karu 12. Uh, me and my family do pizza picnic Fridays. So my wife and kids got me this as a Father's Day present. Uh, so now we don't have to bake pizzas in the oven or try the pizza stone on the grill type of thing. We can actually use this really cool wood-fired oven. Now, I have heard a lot about the uni. I heard a lot about the crew and the, uh, I don't know, the Proforno. There's all kinds of pizza ovens out there. Uh, my daughter and I actually thought about building one, but then I was like, well, what if we want to take it somewhere? What if we uh, want to move it? And yeah, that could be pretty, uh, pretty impossible, if you will. So yeah, so thankfully, my family got this, and boy, am I excited to have some pizza. So uh, we actually have some overnight Neapolitan pizza dough right now getting ready. Uh, and as soon as we have this unboxed, as soon as we have it ready and fired up, and guess what? We're going to make us some pizza for tonight for dinner. Now you may notice I have a couple of grills, a couple of smokers going on behind me. Uh, I'm getting ready for a catering. So I got some brisket and some sausage on. I got some bacon, macaroni, and cheese uh, and some candy bacon going on as well. So. You know, please excuse the smoke, but I'm working. Inside the box is another box. Don't you just love boxes? In boxes? This thing is pretty heavy. The struggle is real. Wow. Oh. All right. Well, first of all, it's a pretty substantial box. Uh, let's see here. It says uh, the weight is 18 kgs. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not European, but I don't know what that translates to, but probably like 45 pounds, somewhere like that. So yeah, pretty heavy, but look at this box. Super pretty. Lots of graphics on it. Really uh, clean information here telling you exactly what is in the package. You know, it looks like here it shows uh, the wood that you can use that nice beautiful pizza that's going in or coming out one of the two uh, and then on the front side another pizza on top we have a nice pizza looks like they're pulling that out nice little margarita pizza and on the bottom it actually has uh, a nice big information panel so Uni Caru 12 is a multi-fuel pizza oven a multi-fuel pizza oven means you can use uh, either charcoal or wood lump charcoal uh, you can use pellets in it, a propane attachment, I guess, and you can connect it. The propane attachment is separate, so uh, I didn't get that one. I just went with the regular because I like that wood-fired flavor. And today, we're actually going to use some post oak from Texas. Time to crack this puppy open. Oh, here we go. The uni apparently is the world's number one pizza oven. I guess the number one... Uh, pizza oven brand that's what they say so let's check this out welcome to the uni community oh there's an uni app so i'm gonna have to download that on my phone uh, just to check out what's going on on there uh, that's a pretty cool top uh, and then also it looks like we have three-year warranty registering the product within 60 days of purchase which i'm gonna have to check on that the uni caro 12 model uh, for the manual and then also the essentials guide so everything you need uh, to get started and then also we have this pizza stone let's bring it in nice beautiful pizza stone with the uni logo on the front and then also just flat on the bottom this next box. Ooh, it's a beast in here but first this looks like the door so it's the door that you put on the back after you put wood and charcoal uh, in the firebox uh, and this just sort of keeps all that heat in but helps force the flame in the right direction and inside look at the inside so you actually have the uh, unit here that's protected by some heavy styrofoam it had that other egg crate on top of it uh, and a nice thick biodegradable plastic material uh, that's on top so and make sure that this thing is well protected which they should it costs uh, but I think it was like 350 something like that. Uh, I'm sure I'll correct myself if I'm wrong on the video. First, we have the front door. 
Wow, that is heavy and it's insulated. You can tell. I mean, that's a good like two or three inches wide right there. Nice substantial handle, nice and heavy. This little door is insulated as well. So, uh, you know, they made sure to, to, you know, put some quality in there. You can see the little welds all around the edge of the door. Yeah, so that's going to be able to hold that heat in uh, really nicely. And here it is. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing right there. Wow. It's actually bigger than I thought it was. Bigger than I thought it was going to be. So, yeah, very nice, very heavy. You see all these rivets all the way around it. Looks super cool. I love that. And we look on the back. So, this hole right here is actually where this door is going to go after we put uh, the fire in there in the fire tray. And this part right here is actually the vent where the air is going to flow from the outside up and through the oven, uh, up and through the firebox, and then it's going to push the uh, the air over the coals and make that flame go right over the top of the pizza. So it's going to be nice. Now we have a few things inside. First off, empty box. Next, oh. there we go. A bigger box and another empty box. I know what that is. So here we go. Here's the firebox base, right? And this is going to go inside the uni. And then we have the actual, uh, I guess, the grate. So this is what you actually sit the coals on. And you want to make sure that that uni is facing forward toward that handle. So you set the coals and your wood and everything else on this. Uh, and your little tumbleweeds to catch fire. And that air comes right in here and pushes the fire right through the oven. Then it looks like uh, we have a little Allen wrench for adjusting, probably for adjusting these rivets uh, or anything else that might come loose. Uh, I'm super excited about that. Just because, you know, it always sucks to try to find an Allen wrench when you don't have an Allen wrench around, but you need an Allen wrench. So let's see here. Last box. I assume this is going to be the uh, chimney smokestack, and that it is. Okay, here we go. We got the chimney smokestack right here, as well as the uh, cap that goes on there. I know normally if you have the gas attachment, you place the cap right down on top in order to keep all that, you know, that fire running through there because you don't need the air. Uh, but if you don't have the gas attachment, that's when you use uh, this puppy right here, uh, which is going to be the smokestack along with the damper. See that? So you want to kill the fire, you just close it, but you want to light it up, you open it on up. So this is good for controlling that flame. Also, if you're um, also if you're doing like steaks or veggies or fish or you know breaking bread, anything like that, uh, it's good because this will help control that temperature, so you won't get up to like 930 degrees every time. So uh, yeah, let's check out what else is here. Look at the bottom. So we have the legs which fold out open. Very cool. Uh, and then we have a little warning, a little warning notice on the bottom. Also the area that you're going to put your Allen key to store. So Allen key stores right under the bottom. And that is perfect. So yeah, it says don't use it in your car. Don't use it in your house. Don't use it inside of a tent, only use it outside. Hopefully I'll remember all those do's and don'ts. So let's put it together now. Cool thing about this pizza stone, or I guess putting the pizza stone in, is there's actually a little thumb hole there, so or a finger hole there, so you can actually push it up to push it out if you want to clean it. There you go. Goes right in. Just put this car box right in there. Alright guys, we got the uh, Uni Karu 12 uh, all assembled now. Uh, I'm actually going to do a first fire real quick before we actually cook our first pizza. Uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, light it up with some 
uh, with some wood and some charcoal uh, just to try to burn off any of the oils or any of the random yuckiness uh, that is in there for manufacturing. Uh, and I'll actually uh, be using this uh, Thermalworks IR Gun S uh, to actually check the temperature. Uh, now I know that you could buy uh, one of these guns uh, you know, on the Uni website, uh, but Thermalworks is one of my sponsors uh, for our channel uh, and for our products. Uh, and this gun, pretty inexpensive, and it works just the same. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to fire it up. I'm actually going to take this front door off uh, just to try to get as much airflow as possible when it starts. And then I'll pop that door on so anything can burn off from inside the door as well. And then later, we're going to show you some pizza. All right, I'm about to light this up. So I got my tumbleweed. I'm going to just set it right down in there, right down in the bottom. Now, I don't need this charcoal chimney, uh, but I just have it to transport up some lump and wood. So uh, right here, this might be too big. And no, it's going to fit in there. So I know this, uh, I know you can't put all lump charcoal in there. Uh, this is actually rock wood. It's really good quality, uh, you know, high heat lump charcoal. I know you can't put all uh, size lump charcoal because a lot of times they come in random shapes and sizes. Uh, but I found some nice small chunks of rock wood I'm going to toss in there um, just so I can get this first burn in. Also, today we'll be using this BMB natural smoking wood chunks post oak post oak wood it's a texas favorite gotta make sure my cap's off and then i'm actually going to light this little tumbleweed uh, and then just make sure it's nestled right down in the middle make sure you got a fire on it i'm gonna slide it right in here Too tall. Still too tall. There we go. There we go. Let's see if I can set that in there. It's cool. And just pop this door right on the top. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm actually angling the uni uh, a little bit different angle just because the wind's coming from this way. So uh, in order to make sure I have good airflow, I'm making sure that wind goes up right through that back vent and then right up through the inside to make sure we have a good flame in there. But that flame's going to travel right up across the roof uh, up to the top. There's also a little baffle right here, uh, so it actually pushes down some of that heat. Uh, so when you have a pizza in there, it's going to push it right down on top of the stone. right here I make sure I have this little pin up and down uh, that's for the damper that tells you which way uh, it is so this is wide open if you have it uh, horizontal there uh, that means it's closed so verticals wide open I don't know how well we can see in there but that's allowing all that airflow to come straight out of this smokestack so yeah really nice quality build a couple of smudges from my fingerprints but yeah no dings no dents that I could see it's actually a really nicely put together product. I was uh, in between the crew oven and the uni oven and even one of those other alfornos or something like that. But yeah, I just wanted to go with the uni because I thought it looked cool. And uh, also because it's going to be, you know, pretty portable if I want to take it anywhere. A really nice oven. Okay, so what I actually decided to do was to take the door off. And just add some more wood in there, some more fuel to the fire. And look, that door was nice and silver. Now it's charred, <laughs> dark, you know, with the uh, smoke from in here. But yeah, decided to do that, take the door off, get some more airflow in there. And now it looks like the wind's decided to change direction, so I might have to adjust this again. Now we're humming along. Look at that. The flames are kicking out pretty good. Rolling right across the top. So, yeah, it's going to get nice and hot in there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's like 650 or so in the front. 713 in the middle. 
770 in the back. I think it's about time to make some crust. Or actually build our pizzas, sorry. So we're gonna build our pizzas and then we're gonna bring them out. Since it's just a 12 inch, um, I guess you can only do like one at a time, at least one 12, inches at a, one 12 inch pizza at a time. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and build them up inside the house. We'll bring them out, fire them off. Okay, here's a couple of pizza dough rolls that we have. We use this Caputo uh, double zero flour uh, and then a little Samola Ramon, Rimacentina. I don't know how to say it, Ramoncita. Please go ahead and uh, rip. Rima Senada. There you go. Perfect. So, oh my gosh, this is some good overnight dough. Went ahead and let it do its thing. And look at that. It's like nice and perfect, super elastic. So, I'm going to start from the inside and just go ahead and build the crust to start. Just turning it as I go. And then, now that I have it sort of a circle, semi circle. I use the back of my knuckles to actually spread it out. Look at that. I'm not even doing anything. Look at that. Just letting gravity do its work. Super amazing. Super elastic. Look at that. Okay, here we have some San Marzano tomatoes that I've actually uh, blended together and then actually used our, we blended them together. And we actually used our fresh catch, she our fresh catch seasoning uh, in there uh, just to give it a little more herbaceousness, a little garlic, a little onion mixed into there, uh, some herbs and salt uh, just to give it a little pop of flavor. A little bit actually, I'm going to put this right on the pizza peel. So I put a little bit of samola flour right over the top of the pizza peel. So I just want to launch it right away and uh, not let it break down. So I'm not really good at pulling the pizza from the cutting board over to the peel. The sauce. And I've heard these pizzas, if you're doing Neapolitan style in these ovens, you don't want to like put a bunch of toppings because then it may not cook all the way through or like the toppings will cook and then the bottom of the crust won't cook. So I just want to make sure that I try to do this like as minimal as possible, but I really like topping, so it's going to be really hard to do that. I'm going to go with a little bit of Belgioso Parmesan. Hit it with some mushrooms. Just a little cremini mushrooms here and there. Get some spinach, because I'm a fan of spinach. And then I'll also put a few slices of this hard salami. I like pepperoni a lot, but I really like this hard salami go on top of there as well. Why not finish a couple more pieces of that Parmesan and then we'll finish that off with a nice little bit of olive oil. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and launch this thing. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's 9.52, 9.42. Yeah, that's legit. Legit heat right there. Go get this pizza. So go ahead and launch it. We'll hit start. So I know we're supposed to turn it like every minute or 30 seconds or something like that. So let's check it out. Take it out. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Probably pulled it just a couple seconds too soon, but still. A little third turn there. Remember, you're supposed to have the door on during the whole cook. Third turn. Might have burnt the bottom. Oh no, crust didn't half bad. Look at that. It's 
spotted. Got some speckles. You know these are all bubbles right here for sure. So I think it's done. Alright guys, here's the pizza. I think it took me about two or three minutes. Let's look at the bottom of the crust. Ooh, pretty hot down there, huh? Got a little bit of leopard, a little bit of burn. Let's see what it actually tastes like. Cuts like, so it cuts really good. This feels like it's done. Let's check and see if we have any bubbles in the crust. That's what you want with one of these types of dough. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. So, not much of a bubble, but whatever. I'm down with it. The bottom, nice leopard spots. So, let's check out what it tastes like. Flavor's good. You can definitely tell it was burnt on this side. That's operator error. Also, I made this dough too thick. So I guess the toppings didn't really, the toppings cooked, but the top of the dough didn't cook all the way through. Actually, yeah, it sort of did. Either way, it's good. Right there, right through the middle. I'm fine with it. I'll eat it. So overall, the Unicaru 12, really good purchase. Probably the best gift. I, probably the best gift I've ever got in my life. So pretty amazing. You guys check it out. Also, uh, if you want to get some fresh catch seasoning, like I talked about earlier, check out other uh, recipes that we have on our website or get any of our other products. Go to www.hooksrub.com. Thanks again. God bless. Hashtag We Smoke Meat. Peace.